everyone. So welcome to the triumphant return of set musings. So I thought I'd kick this uh, this return off with a look at Portal. So over the next few weeks, um, there's basically you know the Portal trilogy. We're going to look at the Portal set, and then we'll once we've done that, we'll actually get into some um, other sets, particularly the series of sort of modern releases and once we've got through those we'll uh we'll dig into some other supplemental sets outside of um you know the usual sets that are released as part of sort of standard historically um and then once we run out of stuff there then i'll cherry pick from other stuff maybe some stuff i haven't done before from early in magic's history but i wanted to start off with portal i've always been intrigued by this set I never spent much, spent much time exploring it. So, yeah, it was intended as a starter level set, released in May of 1997. You can see the date up here. There are, uh, it says 257 cards. There's 215 in the, the boosters. There's a few other things, like there's intro pack cards, um, Zipfly's Chinese alternate art and demo game card so we'll start scrolling down and then we'll do the new style set musings format where i'm going to go through on a um like the rarity um slicing it by rarity through different colors and and then ordering it having them ordered a bite on the, on the curve so you sort of get a bit more of that what I call as fan feel, you know, where if you're opening up cards for the first time, you're opening up packs, you're going to get a feel for the set based around what rarity of cards there's more of in the pack. So that's commons. And then as you open up more packs, you know, you start to get a bit more of a feel of what themes might be coming through at uncommon and then um the higher rarities at this point of course there were no mythic rares so let's just scroll through and i'll, I'll chat a little bit about the set generally and we'll get doing and do the proper sort of slicing and dicing that you know we we now we do in the in set musings so yeah interesting artwork um you know this would have been between fifth edition and weatherlight chronologically there's 85 commons, 55 uncommons, 55 rares, 20 basic lands. Cool. Get to look at some basic lands. Hopefully I've remembered to put them up somewhere in here. Um, but the other thing to note with this is the fact that there is oh, there's no instance. It's basically, um, there's sorceries in here. Um, so no instance. No enchantments, no artifacts. Um, some sorceries apparently could be played outside the normal timing rules. Creature cards printed in Portal featured no creature types and their line read summon creature. But of course they've been subsequently errated. If you're familiar with magic, you'll notice another other interesting things. Like if we were to look at some of these cards and sort of drill through, we'll see that, you know, to all intents and purposes, they've only ever been printed in Portal. But, so something like De Devoted Hero, you know, Portal, okay, it came up in the, the start of 1999 decks, but, you know, not actually in a set. But of course you might think, well, hang on, it's a one, two for one. Um, that sounds remarkably like a Sanctuary Cat. And there it is. So yeah, some of these cards have been functionally reprinted. Some have been just reprinted. Some were reprints. You know, so some were magic cards uh, in, you know, in cards in magic already um like i said there's been functional reprints there's been things as well with this like some of the sorceries 
a later date got changed to instance. But another thing you'll notice as we're scrolling through, the rules text is much more prominent. And it's, again, for the time, um, simpler. You know, you're not getting like as much text as they can sort of squeeze in um, on some cards. So it's a lot clearer to read. Uh, you'll notice the presence of quite a number of vanilla creatures. And also down here, you notice the power and the toughness has a sword and a shield as well. And we'll see as we go through, you know, for the next um, couple of weeks after this goes out and we look at the other portal sets, um, you know, what happened there and whether it's the same sort of stuff. So you've got things like Phantom Warrior. So you can see things like Phantom Warrior. Um, yeah, reprinted quite a lot. a lot. And also we've got wording like, can't be intercepted. And I'm imagining at the time there was explanatory books that, that came with this. Um, now... This was released, and while we're doing it, is, is yeah, this was released as, um, you know, as boosters, uh, boosters for this. Now, beyond that, in terms of, you know, when they talk about the marketing, um, so it advertised as a beginner's version of the game, sold in boosters, so one rare, three uncommon, two basic lands, interesting, and nine common cards. There was also a portal two player starter set. And seven of the portal cards included in the starter set feature additional rules text and are therefore different from the booster deck, a uh, booster pack counterparts. Uh, boost portal boosters feature art from Archangel, Merfolk of the Pearl Trident, Elvish Ranger, and Spined Worm. Each portal booster included one of ten different strategy cards with deck building tips. There are five strategies described in all, um, one for each of the five friendly color pairs, uh, two different versions each. So well, what I'll do is as we go through, we'll see what comes out. I won't give it away yet, but there's sort of five, you know, for the color. So white, white, blue has a thing, blue, black, black, red, red, green, and green, white has a thing. There were some demo game boosters as well, apparently. Um, yeah. And again, they put in additional rules text for that. There's an official guide to Portal. Um, and I, I've talk, spoken about those official guides before as well. Um, so, yeah. And that stuff was always interesting to track down. There were a cardboard folding binoculars given out during Portal promotions. Major advertising campaign, apparently. I don't believe beyond the starter decks. As far as I know, there weren't any um, like theme decks for this particular set. But again, if anybody has come across sort of other product that I've not mentioned or I got something wrong there, yeah, please correct me in the comment section or enlighten me. Because um, obviously part of the fun of doing these... Uh, is I tend to go in cold. So I almost get that feeling. It's not quite the same, but you know, when you used to, in the, the good old days, um, where you, you, know, you might sit down with packs and open them and have never looked at the set before. Ooh. Look at that artwork. And the other thing, um, you may have noticed with this. Yep, so these are the Chinese simplified ones. But uh, yeah, they're black bordered. So uh, like a starter set. But it's not yeah, white bordered like um, corsets. There's a demo game card. So yeah, I suspect, um, I don't know if you've ever come across a demo game concept before, but if you've ever, I 
I th I'm pretty sure I've opened some like say sixth or seventh edition starter stroke demo game stuff on the um, channel before and it's sort of they walk you through like a starting game of magic using a sort of pre-ordered decks and packs I think it's probably a similar thing to that so yeah it's probably a variation of theme okay so hopefully that's given a bit of a background so let's actually start to, to go through this so there's our devoted hero so we're in white at the moment and we're starting off with uh, the lower rarities so what do we see at our one drop so it's actually a uh, so we've got a a one drop one two and um, yeah this as well here so remember um, we're only going to see what creatures sorceries and when we if we get there or when I do it basic land is that it I think that's it isn't it no artifacts no enchantments yeah no instance uh, but we might want to look out for some special wording on the sorceries we may not have seen. So yeah, so going along the curve in white at common. There's one one for two. Can't be intercepted by any creature with a fence. Oh, so yeah, so here are they using the term offence as well. That's funny. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for that. There's lots of stuff here that you'll going to have to do a double take on if you're familiar with you're not familiar with portal but familiar with you know certain eras of magic um so yeah life gain here okay so we're seeing some flyers it's interesting we've got sorcery speed pump and flying uh, angelic blessing which yeah it's been reprinted a few times I may click through a few of these as well because uh, they just it looks it's interesting in terms of like what they what they may have become or yeah or how many times they've been reprinted all your creatures get plus one plus one until end of turn so where are we on we're on the th yeah three drops there's border guard three for one uh, one four for three so interesting here we've got um something that you might see in in green i don't see here that it's been uh, color shifted into anything but um yeah it can intercept as though it had flying yeah reach reach breath of life Take any one summoned creature from your discard pile. So that's been reworded to return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Destroy any one creature that creature that goes for life. So our top end creature is yeah, French vanilla three three and a white two three with fly spotted griffin so we got a few flyers here in white we got a bit of life gain and we've got some other evasion going on as well we've got these sort of yeah control type things okay moving up rarities so we've got 11 uncommons in white so what does uncommon start to give us I uh, said so interesting this is a source but you can see we're incredibly specific here so yeah here you can see look it's been changed to an instant in the in the rules even though it's never been reprinted so you're not going to see this on a card but in the the rules text it's been changed and on the card the card you know on the database whatever you want to think about it 
Cast a spell only during your declare attacker's step and only if you've been attacked this turn. Renewing Dawn. Yeah, another card. Never been reprinted. This again, it, it, there could be a functional reprint again. So for each mountain your opponent has in play, you gain two life. So there's some pretty specific stuff here. So we've got stuff levering off, leveraging off. Yeah. So with life gain, definitely we're seeing coming in here. But specific to you know what our opponents might be playing. Oh, there's a bit of self pump. Oh look, it's been reprinted in the the jewel decks. It was reprinted in Exodus as well. Uh, Venerable Monk, that's the one I was trying to think of. There was similar artwork in terms of this character. So yeah, there you go. So that's turned up a few times. Oh, there's our, you know, like our anthem type effect. Okay, there's our um, destroy tapped creature effect. Okay, so we're uncommon, so that's good. Oh, we have a, a wall. Now, by its very nature, um, in the early days of magic, it was just a thing that walls didn't attack. But there's specifically spelling out here, wall, wall of sorts can't attack. And also... It's been errated to Defender and um, yeah, it's kicking around before. So if you look, let's look at Revised Edition. You can see it mentions, it makes no mention that walls can't attack. Um, but they couldn't because that was actually in the rules about walls. So, yeah. Cool artwork though. So what, what's our top end? Oh, it's three, four for five. Starlit Angel. So is that sort of like our Sierra Angel of the set? So more flyers. Um, some life gain shenanigans. We've got a bit of removal here. Oh, Vigilance. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good to, good to see. Okay, Rarity. What are we getting rare okay again yeah like really specific about where you can play this sorcery after you attack them before you declare interceptors so that's blockers I suppose what do they say here uh, you, yeah they've, again they've moved it over to being an instant so yeah. gift of estate if your opponent has more lands oh okay so this would be like what a balance card type card, I suppose. Yeah. So if we draw up to two cards. Mm -mm. Interesting. Each player may draw up to two cards for each card less than two. Any player draws that play gains two life. Okay, so we got like a party card. Yeah, group hug. I was trying to think what it was similar to. So similar to truce. Finding light. Oh yeah, tap all creatures except for white creatures. So we've got the uh, sort of very specific to the colour pie type cards. Armageddon's in here. As is Wrath of God. Yeah, both destroy lands and interesting how they two different wordings. So on here it says destroy all lands. On here it says put all creatures into their owner's discard piles. <laughs> okay, spiritual guardian. More life gain. There's Alabama, the dragon. So we've got archangel. So this is a five five for seven, and this one here is a four four for. Six, and it but it can go back into your deck. Okay, so we're definitely seeing yeah, flyers are a thing. So yeah, yep. Yeah, so tap down the high rarity. Oh, interesting. 
interesting some pump there and our mass removal and life gain again okay so moving into blue okay commons again so lower rarities here cloak of feathers cloud plants Murphy got a pearl trident sorceress sight are all one drops okay any one creature gains flying oh, I intend end of turn so yeah <clears throat> we've uh, seen a number of cards with that sort of thing very recently sorcery speed though and cloud pirates with flying so one one with flying but um can intercept only creatures with flying demo game cloud pirates okay Oh, there we go. A creature with flying can be answered only by the say Yeah, that's what they did. They put reminder text on there for flying. It's Murfolk of the Pearl Trident. You get to look at your opponent's hand and you can draw a card. Ooh. Okay, Coralie. And again, you can see quite a number of vanilla creatures and french vanilla creatures you know those creatures which have only a keyworded ability on them and of course a lot of this stuff probably later on in magic's history went on to be things that were keyworded i suspect so you've got two drops here yep so you've got we're in blue so we've got some library shenanigans going on yep card draw some flying oh there you go tap down of flying creatures is that no without flying okay yeah ends up in stronghold Yavu, horn turtle so some bounce stuff there's wind drake so a couple of drakes here uh two two for three with flying and a three two for four with flying also got another vanilla creature giant octopus and then our top end so that's also a four drop there's our card draw in blue so do draw two cards for four uh, there's some fun cards in here you just want to stick in a um you know a uh, a deck to just i don't know make people smile i mean obviously some of these are underpowered virtue but versus some other stuff you could play but even so i'm tempted by this I might, I didn't, I know if I specifically did it, I, I'll try and remember at the end to look at the uh, the prices on these actually. Okay, so moving on to Uncommon in blue. So just one, one drop there. A bit of, okay, tutoring for sorceries. Personal tutor. Yeah, no surprise to see that on the high side. And it's also in Commander Masters, okay. Yeah, another flyer. We get to have a quick look at an opponent's hand. Yeah, look, lots of these having a quick look at a, an opponent's hand. And then some sort of, this one here, yeah, for each mountain and red card there. So definitely these cards were specifically aimed at, you know, opponents playing certain colours of magic, stuff like that in this set. Another flyer, command of unsummoning. Ooh. Some discard. And it's man of war, as you probably know. It's cropped up a few times. It's a cool card though. To return any one creature to its owner's hand. So that's across the board. So you know you can use it. I don't think. Oh no, these, yeah, so um, 
I don't know if there's anything else in here that would would warrant, you know, has a good ETB on it, so you can, but we should keep our eyes out for that, um, you know, where we could, you know, if you were playing Man of War, you could actually bounce your own stuff and then recast it for the ETB. Um, this one's another player playing a summon card. Wow, there's a lot of, like, reactive stuff here, isn't there? Uh for each tap creature your opponent is in play, you draw a card. Wow. Some, some card draw here. It was reprinted in Exodus. Look at your opponent's hand. For each... Okay. Now, I couldn't tell. Um, it didn't seem like... Uh, if there were... The... the there weren't any cycles that were documented on um, MTG Wiki. I'll include the link. Um, there's quite a number of mirrored pairs and match pairs, actually. So, But I'll include a link to that article. I'm not going to bring it up on screen because with that, there's, there's like always a ton of advertising that seems to come up at the most inopportune moment. But, uh, yeah. It's worth a look. Deep Sea Servant. Serpent can attack only if the defending player has an island in play. So, um, yeah. Can't attack unless... To... Can't an island, okay. 5-5 five, five for 6. Do we what's our... Oh, it's flying blue on this part for uncommon, so yeah, that. Okay. Rare blue cards. <laughs> Prosperity's in here. So, yeah, that came from Visions. <clears throat> it is in Commander 2013. But yeah, you might want to pay this, this copy <laughs> for 928. A 920. Taunt. Use any one player. So creatures can attack. Oh. Interesting. See that in blue. Exhaustion. Now there's Phantom Warrior. Yep. Such memories. Balance of power, cruel fate. Look at the top five cards of your opponent's deck. Put one of them into your opponent's discard pile and the rest in top of his or her. Cloud Dragon. Actually on the list. That's amusing. Nice artwork though. And then, uh, oh, look at this. It's our rare. Yeah, I bet people were over the moon back in the day when they got this. Like, if they pulled one of these, like, 9-9. Nine, 9-9 nine. Nine, nine for 9. If a thing from the deep attacks, destroy one of it, your islands or destroy a thing from the deep. Wow. That's amusing. It's also on the list as well. Gin uh, of the Lamp. Five, six, for seven. It's flying. Yeah, so many of these, you know, in their form, didn't uh, didn't crop up again in Magic. No doubt, the, the template has either probably been reused elsewhere or shifted up in power somehow. Okay, so I think already you probably get the feeling that uh, in terms of white blue we've got you know flyers so they were calling it air superiority so interesting to see how blue meshes message meshes, meshes with black so back down to commons here so here's our one drops uh, we've got a one one for one and we've also got raised dead so single black return any one summer creature summer creature from your discard pile to your hand there you go. Back 
from fourth edition. Was it back before that? Probably. Yeah. Maybe you. Oh, of course, there were things like this one. They did introductory two-player set prior to this. Just prior to fifth edition. Oh, Bog Imp. One one for two with flying. Craven Knight. Two two for two. So a bear, but it can't intercept, which now would say can't block. Not been reprinted. Mind knives. Uh, discard, discard. So we got card draw in blue. So keep an eye out for discard in black. There's a mind rot. There's our black destruction spell. Again, this is all going to be sorcery. But, um, yeah, hand of death. Three drop, destroy non, destroy target non-black creature. Where have we seen that before? Undying beast. Two, two. Got some five one there. Yeah, five one here. Did that get reprinted? No. There are other five ones. A bit of a thing, isn't it? I think. Wasn't there a? Oh yeah, I'm trying to remember now. Like a zombie crocodile. That was a 5-1. Soul Shred. Three damage to any one creature that isn't black. You gain three life. Three and two black. Uh, three, three for three. From your hand, you lose three life. Okay, so you lose three life for the benefit of having an on-curve 3-3. Three, three. Mm. Howling Fury. Plus four, plus zero. Sorcery speed. Feral shadow. Well, oh, there's a skeletal snake. So moving up, rarities. Got assassin's blade. One on the black. Again, you can see that would now make this an instant. Uh, cast this spell only during your declare attack a step, and only if you've. being attacked this step so still keeps it yeah you know, same condition destroy target non-black attack a creature uh, it does have there is rain of tears in the set that makes me very happy and that first appeared in portal and yeah the artwork if you want it on a more up-to-date card 10th edition but the portal art works pretty cheap, but yeah. So yeah. Destroy one land. So we, we definitely have an option here. No hand, no land, I suppose. If we wanted to. Right. Oh, here's our vampire. Four, three, for five. Charging vamp. Bandits, charging Bambi, charging bandits, and then vampire feast. Four damage to any one creature or player. You gain four life. So yeah, lots of interesting removal here. And again, looks like we do have. This, so there's cards here, like with yeah, that one's got the word ruin in it. But again, that's part of a matched pair, not a complete cycle, as far as I can determine. If you're wondering, dry spell. Okay, skipping up to rare, cool bargain. All in with the black there. Draw four cards. You lose half your life rounded up. Oh, of course, endless cockroaches. Now that, yeah, because that was in that command. I think it was in that commander deck. It just keeps going back to your owner's hand. It's great in um, like a sacrifice deck, you know, where you're, you're um, blowing your own stuff up and uh, getting getting a reward for doing it. So, yeah, and it's cockroaches. There's an original form, 
five bucks but yeah they kept the same artwork for the commander one so king's assassin yeah you may tap king's assassin to destroy one tap target creature so yeah these assassin cards they've turn up in different guises this one's a one one for three but something you probably come across mercenary knight so it looks like we've got some conditional stuff going on here as well where you know when stuff's into it comes into play we did see a card earlier with that where you know if you don't dis discard another creature from your hand it it just blows up when it comes into play um, so additional cost there for getting a yeah a four four above the curve, so two and a black. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, so how does that work? So this, what does it say? When it, it, oh, it's dark. Yeah, I was just trying to think. You can't. So we can't discard an endless cockroach to our mercenary knight and get it back because that specifically says when endless cockroach dies gone so we had a portal combo there um, and death reaper or oh, dread reaper death Re dread reaper three three black flying when it comes into play from your hand you lose five life so what's that? six to cast for a six five ebon dragon flying when it comes into play from your hand you may force your opponent to choose and discard a card so we've got this card. So yeah, the thing what we're at the rare now. So yeah, again, if you're wondering and hadn't sort of worked it out um, for the the blue black combination, they were calling that card domination. If you got the you know the card draw in blue and uh, forcing your uh, opponent to discard in black. So yeah, you're trying to get some sort of card advantage. But some pretty interesting creatures to swing with. And of course, the remove we've looked at. Right, red. Let's see what we've got here. Burn spell time. So we're at common again. Okay, Raging Goblin was in here. Yep, Raging has cropped up quite a few times. It has haste, unaffected by summoning sickness. So, yeah, three one drops. We got burning cloak, sorcery speed, um, pump spell, but only on, uh, yeah, plus two on the uh, power, or whatever they were calling it here, which I've now promptly forgotten. Um, yeah. And it deals two damage. Okay. It gets plus two and the creature gets two damage so i'm going to be a bit, bit careful there but yeah very flavorful scorching spear one damage to any one creature or player so only in portal but i'm sure um well let's do it there you go look at all this so you got shock now this one yeah is still sorcery speed uh, goblin bully 2-1 two, for 2 hulking goblin 2-2 two, two for 2 but it can't intercept Volcan volcanic hammer it's a 3 damage spell and yeah you can see again reprinted craven giant did that or did that come from originally that was in portal okay Monitor Warrior, 2 3 for 3, Raging Cougar, 2 2 for 3, unaffected with summoning is as haste, so you've got some hasty stuff here. There's our Hill Giant, and yeah, which is a reprint. So, top end, we've got Lava Axe. High casting cost, but a good finisher in um, in limited, in particularly draft. If you're drafting red, um, yep. And then fire snake. 
So what do we get for this? You know, we got a three one for five. Fast link is potential. Discard pile from play. Destroy any one land. Okay. So what do we want to discard our fire snake to uh, that other black card that we that came up? Um I don't know if it was here. Mercenary Knight, that's it. So yeah, I'm looking for things to discard to our mercenary knight, you see. Okay. Moving on, oh, there's Blaze, so that's our X spell in red. And again, it has been reprinted, but you can probably recognize uh, what other cards it may be similar to. Fire Imp, okay, got lots of nice red burn stuff here. <laughs> there's another wall. Oh, Island Destruction, we got a bit of flying. Destroy all planes. Flash fire is in here. Again. Was you know reprinted in this set and then subsequently reprinted again. Rain of salt. So this you get to destroy two lands. So we had rain of tears, didn't we, I think? And then rain of salt. And then we've got um, Winter's Grasp as well, I think. Has that been reprinted? No, it was in as a saga. Okay. Well, you know, I think it's not necessarily the uh, the theme of the colour combination or what they're calling it, but I definitely feel there is a no hand, no land option in here. Earthquake. Oh, another expel. So then now we're up to the rare stuff. There's pyroclasm in here. Fault lightning. Yeah, fault lightning deals four damage divided any way you choose between one, two, or three creatures. Yeah, and another red spells that do similar things. We've got Thunder Mare in here. 5-5 five, five for 6, with haste, but when it comes into play, you hand tap all your other creatures. And has been reprinted. There's Volcanic Dragon. And Fire Dragon. We've also got Devastation in here. Destroy all creatures and lands. 5 and 2 red. So there's, yeah, there's quite a bit of... Um, uh, yeah, we've seen Wrath of God, Armageddon. Yes, yeah, interesting. There's um, like some like these Wrath effects in the set. Six damage to each creature and player. Wow. Fire Dragon. God, this just looks like so much fun to draft. Six and three red for six six. I wonder if anybody's ever you know, done a cube from just portal stuff. Okay, moving on to green. So we got Fruition, Jungle, Lion, Mobilize, or our one drops, and Willow Triad. Okay, so we've got four one drops. Okay, two one for one, but it can't intercept. Can't block. But again, yeah, this sort of card we've probably seen in various other forms, names. We've got a good old 2-2 two, two for 2 grizzly bear in here. So it is a is a reprint and then it subsequently turned up in other sets. Monstrous growth. Cool artwork. <laughs> That's funny. Look at the kitty. Um... Uh, that's four plus four for two. Uh, nature's law is in here as well. Wow. Okay. Elite cat warrior. <laughs> 
Elvish Ranger. Elvish uh, Giant Spider, Stalking Tiger. <laughs> Okay, so what's our big stuff? <laughs> surprise, surprise, spined worm. Okay, did that? What was that before it got to here? Yeah, okay, it did start off in here then. But yeah, I did know it was in 10th edition. It has more teeth than fit in its mouth. Okay, Panther Warriors. Now, uh, that's why, because it was in Visions and Classic 6th edition. Probably got a copy of that somewhere. Rowan Tree Folk. It's a bit of a tree folk thing. I wonder whether that's going to carry over. So yeah, creature stuff, pumps. It's got some untap. That's interesting. Mobilize in green. Yeah, so other things, you know, keep an eye on the price of some of these. Uh, moss sprite. There's a green flyer. Plant elemental. Needle storm. Four damage to each creature with flying. Untamed wild. Search your deck for a plains island swamp or forest card. Okay. Yep. Prince before and after. But has it ever been in that form? That's pretty cool. The price is pretty low as well. About two and a green. Anacondas in here, beasting. <laughs> Bull whip Whip tail worm. Eight five for seven. And again, just notice the amount of vanilla creatures here. Also got natural spring, eight life. Turns up all over the place. So, moving on to rare. So, Hurricane is in here. I did wonder. So, we've got Hurricane. We've got Sylvan Tutor. 60 bucks. And, of course, yeah, if we've got any tutors in here, I imagine they're going to be uh, big bucks. Take up to three lands from your hand and put them in play. Summer Bloom, what's that? It's five bucks. Has been reprinted and was originally in Visions as well. Tree Top Defense, so what's that? Yeah, a bit of reach shenanigans going on there. Thundering Worm, four, four, for three. What's its downside? Discard a land from your hand, okay. Natural order, charging rhino. Can't be intercepted by more than one creature. Primeval force. Eight eight for Wow. Five? Okay. <laughs> Blow up three of your forests. Surprise, surprise. It was in eighth edition, funnily enough. Okay. So yeah, we're in green. We got big stuff. We got anti flying stuff. Got some pump. Um so that was, you know, red green was referred to as gargantuans for marketing purposes. So yeah, white blue air superiority, blue black card domination, black red fiery doom, uh, red green gargantuans, and green white horde. So those are the horde decks for green white. Also, there's um. Yeah, we've probably seen both green and white. There's some life gain stuff going on. So, ah, uh, yeah, I 
I was hoping I'd done this. So this is the, the basics. How I could, how could I forget? And look, four pieces of artwork, and other artwork as well. Very nice. And of course you probably recognise a few of these um, or something similar. Not sure about this so much actually, but uh, certainly here either the same or similar artwork cropping up. Either before or after. But they're nice. I like these. These are nice. And is that the case that it's all the same artists across, yeah, the particular manner, so. Do we have no, that's interesting, okay. Hmm. That is very cool. So, one thing I forgot to do because this is an older set and the only reason why I tend not to do this because with you know I, once I started doing the new form of um, set musings it was more with newer sets so I said I wouldn't so much do the um, sort by um, price because it yeah it's still all over the place when you've got cards that haven't been released but this is definitely worth doing I'll have to remember to include this um, so if we go into price and let's look at the the four. So no surprise, yeah, it's the it's the tutors. And we've got things like devastation, personal tutor, winds of change. So I suppose anything fairly unique to the set, any tutors, um plus I suppose anything that has interesting artwork that you wouldn't see outside of the usual card. So you've got you know things like Wrath of God. And what else? Armageddon. Oh, that looks pretty grim. Sixth edition one. Uh Evan Dragon, wow. Look at that. That was in, uh, yeah, they did that from From the Vault's Dragon. Dragons. I don't think, do I have that from the Vault's? I don't think so. Wow. That's nice. Last chance. I haven't been keeping an eye, but also also interesting to see, you know, which ones of these did crop up. You know, if they've been for it. So what I'm get, thinking of is stuff that's been printed for the first time in Portal, hasn't been printed before. And then ends up in Commander. Is there anything like that? And I'm not sure whether that would be the case. I mean, there's probably a relatively easy search I could do to, to divide that up. But that, yeah, this is good. Uh, what's this? This says Band in Modern. Okay. Oh, of course, it was in Ninth Edition to do that. Right. Okay. Wow, there we go. So that was cool. I was I really enjoyed that actually. Hopefully you did too. So yep, so this is our first return, uh triumph and return to set musings and we we're having a look at portal there. And then obviously I'm gonna move on to so next week uh we'll look at um yeah, portal second age, I suppose. And then portal three kingdoms after that, and then we'll be into the modern masters stuff so thanks once again for watching bye for now and i will catch you in a future episode